Soya Girls in the hospital. They got me on this darn IV. The lady stick the hell out of me. And then she was hurting. So she just started taping it down some and trying to relieve the pain. But empty who? So let me update you. I went to see the doctor Thursday and they originally was supposed to just check the fetal movements of my baby because he wasn't moving like he was supposed to. But that day he was very active, too active for them to even perform the test correctly, I guess. So they took me off and they checked my cervix. And um, my, cervix, my cervix was way too thick. They were saying my cervix was not favorable. And hey, babe. You make me uncomfortable trying to record over here. But they were saying my cervix was not favorable and it was too thick. And um, it was not effaced at all. So she decided that I need to go ahead and get a C-section because it was the safest procedure for me. Being that I already had a C-section before because my youngest daughter, she was breech. And they were saying that I could get a V back this time, which means a vaginal birth after C-section. But um, I thought that I couldn't do that. I thought I had to get C-sections all the time because that's what I was told after I had Vanessa. But apparently you can still give a vaginal birth after a C-section. And in my case, the only reason why I had to do it was because she wasn't faced properly. She had turned around at the last minute. She was breech. So that's kind of what happened. But in this case, going on 40 weeks, and the lady was saying that I wasn't labor ready at all. And it would have put me at a high risk of having like a rupture on my cut. So the safest procedure for me anyway is to get a C-section. And she was talking about waiting till next week. And I'm like, who? My due date is tomorrow. If y'all want to schedule a C-section, do it on my due date. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what happened. So now I'm in the hospital today, 930. They wanted me to be here. So I'm here. And if you don't know, you know, you got to get tested for COVID. But... They were saying I might not. Man, so let me get back to my video. They were saying I might not because I already tested like last Friday. So if you tested like less than 10 days, I guess you don't have to get tested if you have the results. So that's kind of what's going on. I might not have to get tested, which I'm excited because I don't want to get tested. I hate getting tested for COVID. <sighs> So yeah, got me hooked up to the IV, took my urine, and I'm just sitting here waiting to see what's next because I did my registration paperwork and all that. So y'all, I'm ready. I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready. I understand if you're pregnant, I understand because when you're ready, you're ready. And there's nothing nobody can tell you. When you're ready, you're ready. Like, you're not trying to hit all that, wait till the baby come, he ready when he ready, or she ready when she ready. Nobody trying to hit that, okay? When I'm ready, I'm ready, okay? So, yeah. I was so over being pregnant, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Like, I was miserable and crying. Yeah, when you ready, you ready. So... I'm going to tell y'all one thing. I tried all the damn old wives' tales in the book. None of that worked for me. The only thing I didn't try is the castle oil. I bounced on the damn ball. I had plenty of sex. I freaking did exercise. I walked. I did all that shit. Drunk raspberry tea, everything. Nothing. Say hey. Hi. My baby over there with his Neo hat on. In the cut, looking all good, and I'm the one looking like yesterday, last year type shit. <laughs> Are you ready to meet your son? I am. What's going on? This is my support right here. 
I couldn't get the gown on, y'all. I felt so retarded. <laughs> <laughs> he came to help me. Do I have to leave this on though? This mask? I don't know. Let me take it off. You probably don't. But who knows? They'll say something if you do. Right. You sexy. You just want to be in the camera. Shut up. Okay. Okay. You sexy as me. <sighs> y'all, I'm nervous. But I'm ready to meet my boy. You hear me? I got a whole thing. I don't know what to do with myself. I had a, I had, y'all know I wanted a son, like, from the beginning. Like, when I first was pregnant, I was like, please be a boy. Then I was pregnant again. I'm like, please be a boy. <sighs> it was just two girls. And I'm just like, why? Why can't I get what I want in life? Excuse me, y'all. Uh, my hell of a mess. Ain't even that. It's just the psh, 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 sticking up. I don't know what I'm waiting on next. I don't know. But I guess I'll come back to update y'all when something else goes on. But right now, I'm just laying in this bed, waiting. It's baby time. Yeah. It's been to go down. Sorry that I look like a grandma I didn't feel people home. <laughs> <laughs> In the lunch line. That boy getting ready to have his first boy. Yeah, yeah. I would say getting married with you. This one in my room, right? I guess. I don't know. Uh, this, where is it? It's not a big room, but. Yeah, that's where I gotta sleep. Hey, Amen. That boy finna have his boy. He, he don't even care. What are your cafeteria wear? Can't wait to get you on camera. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta change it to it in a little bit, you know. So, but I'm excited, y'all. I'm happy. Finally got my son. You know, what I'm saying I thought I wasn't gonna have no son. Yeah, can't wait to see him on this table right here. Yeah. Well, he don't know what to do with no son. He don't know what to do with no boy. <laughs> Man, look. He ain't got no scrubs. Look a doctor, Vic. <laughs> you look like a doctor. Okay, so, um, what we're gonna do next is I need to check to see if the baby is still moving because I haven't uh, got anything registered on my monitor here. Nothing to worry. I'm pretty sure he is, okay? You just need to make sure. So I'm gonna Can you just do the damn job? Man, you're pissing me off. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, how foul. I want to talk to your manager. <laughs> Oh, mm. you guys, it's almost time. I'm so nervous. That boy look like a doctor. Call me Dr. Big B. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be delivering this baby myself, okay? So um, you don't need any help. I'm about to get to work. You can't expose him yet. Yeah. Hey, little one. Let's, let's weigh you and see how much you weigh today. Hey. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You can have a glass. Yeah. Kicking his leg. Hmm. Kicking his leg. Oh. From from underneath the blanket. You don't want the blanket on him. Like kicking me. Like 
like pressing on me with his leg and it's like pushing himself back like oh <laughs> well he didn't he didn't do that with me yeah he like you know you like put say he was like close to the wall you push that the wall and push mm. your body back yeah that way he don't my stomach he's like got his leg just push out of it mm-hmm that boy gonna be strong you heard me mm -hmm. he was holding his, doing he was holding his head up by himself yeah, what up? Why do you keep stretching out like that? Like, uh -oh. It's something about you, because he didn't do all that with me. Maybe he's taking a duty or something. Ugh. You gonna change it? Mm -hmm. If he's in fact doing that, I don't smell that though. What are you doing, just staring at you? Oh. Keep opening them and closing them. Keep doing that. That chewing thing. Like put the tongue out. Like an old lady. <laughs> like an old lady that just be chewing for no reason. You know them old people that be chewing for no reason. Yeah. That's what he be doing. People don't love their kids the way they say they love their kids, I guess. <laughs> you got this old little face you be making. You like. <laughs> So cute. Yeah. Come home and put you up on your neck. I'm gonna have to fight the ladies off my son. Cause who? I beat up these girls for a living, okay? About my son. Good morning, y'all. It's like seven in the morning. Um, I'm tired. They don't let me sleep all night. They just come through here. So, they don't believe in letting nobody sleep. I'm so tired. But, um, I'm up with my son. So handsome. Get him. Y'all know he ain't gonna stay this colorful long. <laughs> uh oh. About to try to eat. They brought me some food. I know I'm probably not gonna like it. It's never no flavor in these hot in this hospital food. But my dad is gonna bring me some um breakfast from Wendy's whenever he get here. Uh, oh. Um, I didn't get any footage in um, labor and when I was delivering the course because I was having a C-section. It's more private. So I didn't get any footage, but yeah, I will see his little chunky self. Y'all yeah, see him. So cute. He's sleeping right now. He's actually a good baby. Um, he only cry when he's hungry, but I was having a hard time you know, with feeding him because he didn't want to eat. When he was, after he was born, he didn't want to eat at all. So like the nurses was kind of forcing it, like coming in here every second, getting my nerves. But anyways, you know, trying to get him to eat and making me force it in his mouth and he didn't want it. So <sighs> he was eating during the days forcefully. But then I noticed that He's just a baby that liked to eat at night. He didn't eat until like one in the morning. That's when he really started like eating. I mean, after that, you know, it was like four o'clock in the morning. And he really, really devoured around that time. So like, he just like a little night owl. 
I notice in like maybe like an hour ago. Mm, he ate, but it was only like five ounces. You don't really eat too much during the day. Mm, so yeah, but he's a good baby. Only cry when he's hungry. Once he eats, he goes straight back to sleep. You don't stay up or nothing. Like, for the most part, he's just sleeping. A cute self. Mm. He looks like his dad, y'all. Like, I never have any parts of anything that I birth. This is sad. I'm the one that carried a baby for nine months. But I never have any parts of nothing at all. He's attached to me because I'm so in love with my son. He, he haven't slept in that little bed right there at all. He's just on my chest. We've just been sleeping together. He's so cuddly. So cuddly. So I just want to bond with my baby. So, yeah. Let me show y'all this food. Y'all, this is the breakfast some cranberry juice orange juice jello fruit let's see some toast eggs and bacon so let's see if i like it i'm very picky let's see hey can i get some cheese Sorry, I'll stay in my grace. Oh, this don't look too heavenly, but let's see. Oh, watery eggs. Mm. Ugh. Let's see, let's try the bacon. What can you go wrong with bacon? Oh, the bacon is good. The bread don't look like it's gonna be good. Huh? Mm -hmm. The nurses keep coming in here till it's cold. Mm -hmm. so, you cold now? Mm -hmm. Um, so y'all, I'm gonna finish this baking up on this fruit. Probably gonna eat the bacon and the fruit, drink the juices, and be done with the sleep, y'all. It's safe out here, son. Y'all, he killed me because he'll open one eye. He just had it one eye open. Like, I'm not sure if the coast is clear, but I'm about to tell my other eye everything's okay. You can come out. Why you want to sleep all day? Y'all see what I got to put up with? I just want to play. But he just want to sleep. Wake up. Oh, my son is so strong. Like he was um holding his head up by himself. He was feeding himself. I was like, what is going on? You're only two days old. What's tea? You're not gonna say hey, that's rude. You're not gonna say hey. You're not gonna open your eyes, son? Like, how you sleep like this? It's uncomfortable. I would've woke up. Pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. Pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. Pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it. Pick up. <laughs> they gonna wake you up anyway because you gotta take a bath. So why not mama do it first? You know you're gonna fuss with them people. You know you're going to fuss with them people. 
You know it. Sun, sun. Sun, sun. Now look. Sun, sun. Wake up. You want to see that? I'm still sleeping. I just got out the shower. He was in here sleeping. Son. This is your granddaddy. This is your granddaddy. <laughs> this is your granddaddy. Your granddaddy. Your granddaddy. <laughs> ah, come on, open them eyes. I seen you trying to peep. Oh, nah, bro. I ain't ready for it. I ain't ready for it, bro. 2020 been hectic. I don't know, though. I'm not ready for it. You he didn't want to come out, y'all. Like, if it was up to him, I would have been waiting until January 1st. He did not want to come out. He was like, nah, bro, I heard about 2020 through the womb. I heard about 2020 through the womb. I don't want no parts of that. You didn't want no parts of that, son? You didn't want no parts of 2020, did you? He was like, I don't want nothing to do with that. I'll come out when it's safe. 2021, a new year. We're going to start fresh. <laughs> son, son. Young man, there's a place you can go. I said knock down. I'm over here being a comedian to myself. Can you please? Would you please wake up? I'm like, Red, would you please? Show the world a little saint, saint, sneak peek, something. You don't even want to get them a little sneak peek, a little one eye action like you normally do. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> so, hi to the world, say hi, son, yeah, so cute, don't worry, say my real color gonna come, cause I'm supposed to be chocolate like that, like my ill, yeah, yeah. Looking like your daddy. FYI. I'm just a carrier. Every child come out looking like their daddy. And I just don't understand. Because I'm the one who carried you for nine months. Like, that's just not right. I went through a lot of hell. Just for you to look like your daddy. What is the issue, son? I feel like all my children got beef with me. What's going on? Don't be trying to close your eyes now. I need answers. I need answers, son. Why you come out looking like your daddy? Why you can't come out looking like me? The one who carried you. The one who went through all the pains and the aches. And the contractions. Why do I get mistreated? Why? You don't know? All you gonna do is look? This all you gonna do? But you so cute. You so cute. Yeah, say mommy on the cold. Mommy got me dressed. Yes. If it was up to anybody else, they wouldn't have did it. No. No. They don't wanna see you fresh and clean, son. But you know mommy gonna take care of that. Yeah, mommy gonna take care of that. Say bye, YouTube. Say bye, YouTube. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Want to eat, eat? Time to feed that baby now. 
Okay, we're going to feed you. We're going to go bye-bye so we can feed you. Okay? 